Here now is the superintendent of the Spokane Public School District, Adam Swinyard. Uh, good morning to you, superintendent. Thanks for being here. So your schools have implemented a partial cell phone ban as you enter the school year this year. How did it get to this point? Uh, what was the tipping point and, and the process uh, as you begin the year? Yeah, well, we've been seeing a, a steady increase in disengagement for kids uh, really over the last decade. And, and that was accelerated uh, and exasperated in many ways by the pandemic is being on a device um, and not being uh, in real life with others uh, really became normalized. And we, we see that translate into our schools where kids are spending an excessive amount of time on personal devices. And, uh, you know, that is creating a significant distraction to what teachers are trying to, to accomplish. Just the sleep deprivation alone should have us really concerned with how much time kids are on screens, uh, let alone what they're ingesting when they're on there. Technology has many amazing ways to increase access and opportunities. We understand that these devices are part of our world. They're not going anywhere. Teaching kids how to move through their life uh, with them is part of the reality uh, that we need to be uh, cognizant of. But we need practical strategies and we need to raise awareness amongst families about what kids are, are taking in. Um, the exposure that they're getting to bullying, harassment, normalization of, of violence, sexualization. Uh, they're ingesting things that are having a significant detrimental impact uh, to their mental health. Uh, we shouldn't uh, be surprised that we are struggling with isolationism and mental health amongst youth, given the amount of time they're spending on personal devices. So in our community, we're looking to uh, limit access inside of schools, as well as look for practical uh, alternatives. Uh, we've never faced an adversary like technology in the getting the attention of kids. And so we need exciting alternatives to say, instead of five, six, seven hours on your phone, how about maybe one or two hours? Let's teach families um, about the supervisory tools. Let's have common sense boundaries inside of our classrooms. And then let's provide as many activities and athletics outside the school day, every kid, every day doing something in real life off of their screen, out of their home, with each other. The research is clear. That's what's best for kids. Yeah, well, I couldn't agree more as, as a parent um, of, of kids in high school that we've got to find that balance. But easier said than done, right? So how do you implement this, and how does it look different for an elementary student versus a high school or junior high student? In our district, and you know, correct to say, districts are approaching this in lots of different ways. And and I think first and foremost, uh, you know, we we need to give ourselves grace as as parents and educators. This metastasized on us really quickly, and I, I think the level of consciousness across the country and the, the impact of phones on youth, uh, we're, we're racing to catch up with that. So there's certainly an education piece uh, for families and for educators to be aware of the impact. And this is going to take some time. We've we've got kids in our high schools who have become very accustomed to having their phone on them all the time. These devices, they're designed to be highly addictive. And it, it's going to be a process, not an event, to create an environment and to normalize for them that there's times when it's okay to have your phone out and there's times when it's not okay. In our district, elementary and middle, we'll have no phones. But in high school, uh, we'll allow them to have them in the halls and at lunch, uh, but not in the classroom. And we think that's a developmentally appropriate next step because as adults, there's spaces where it's appropriate to be looking uh, at your cell phone. It'd be a little awkward if I took out my phone and checked it uh, right now during an interview. But that's part of adult life, and we should be teaching kids and helping them make that progression. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.